The Union League Boys and Girls Clubs not only supports Chicago area kids, but celebrates them. This year, two student members of Humboldt Park's Barreto Club are, are receiving special honors for showing academic excellence, leadership, and service. Here with us this morning are Talia Sorrell's 2024 Youth of the Year and Talia Johnson, the 2020. 2024, excuse me, Junior Youth of the Year, and they're joined by Jeremy Murphy, the Barreto Club Senior Director, and a former Boys and Girls Club member himself. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks morning. for being with us. So, to Olia and Talia, okay, for everyone at home who's wondering, both beautiful names and different. Um, Jeremy, I understand that you are a former Youth of the Year winner yourself, so your roots go deep into the Boys and Girls Club. Kind of tell me about uh, how it's impacted your life and kind of your perspective now looking on to like next generation of leaders. Yes, indeed. So first and foremost, both of these young ladies are amazing youth. And I think um, for me, being on this side now of the Youth of the Year competition, I mean, I think it's definitely fulfilling, right? Just being the 2007 Youth of the Year, I think some of the things that this program within the Union League Boys and Girls Club has been able to do for me is it's honestly helped me instill so much confidence, right? Like when it comes to public speaking, right? And also just being able to put that into these young people. I would say from a National Boys and Girls Club point of view, the Youth of the Year program has been a program for maybe 1947. You know, so just being able to just understand that this program as a whole really focuses on three major pillars, right? Academic excellence, right? Healthy, healthy lifestyles, and as well as just being great leaders. So when you think about this program from a national point of view, I think these young ladies, right, you know, just based on them being pillars in the community from the Barreto Boys and Girls Club, as well as from Union League, I mean, they <laughs> both of them fit fit the bill, I mean, like no other. So it's definitely an, an amazing opportunity to actually be here and to be their, their mentor. And how are they chosen? Are they nominated? Do they nominate themselves? Kind of how does the selection process work? Yeah, so in regards to being chosen, you know, you have to, you know, go through a list of community partners, right? You have to go through a list of Boys and Girls Club staff, right? Understanding within the Union League Boys and Girls Club, they are two of 15,000 um, young people in the city of Chicago. So basically, within them being selected, um, everybody based on the staff, based on communities, based on some of the board members, they all you know, come in one room and basically select the best candidates. I love that. So, uh, to Ali, I'll start with you first. You're a 12th grader at Noble Golder College Prep. When you heard that you received this honor, kind of tell me how it made you feel and, and what your future goals are now that you know, like, your community believes in you just as much as effort that you've put into just who you are and where you're going. Um, I was really excited. At first, if I'm being honest, I kind of didn't want to do it afterwards because it, <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of pressure into it. There was a lot of steps, and I was like, no, nah, this isn't for me. Plus, I don't really like public speaking, but being a part of this whole program and everything, it actually got me a little bit more confident in going up and doing things I never thought I would before, yeah. especially bragging about it at school. Like, <laughs> <laughs> cool points earned, for yeah. sure. I love that. Well, good for you, mm -hmm. and you know what? Confidence, it will take you very, very far, no matter what kind of confidence that is. So I'm glad you've been able to get out of your comfort zone. Um, and Talia, you're a sixth grader, so proud of you. So uh, tell me a little bit about your goals. And I see here that you were in the media club among many other different clubs, which I'm a little biased. I love that you did that. Uh, talk to me about some of the programs that you really love and that you want to continue doing. Um, I love the media program because I got to interview people in the club um, in Berlin. Barrettos. Um, I was just saying them how they like Barrettos and stuff like that, or like taking photos. We were running a re well, running, but have, not running. Walking. <laughs> yeah, walking. <laughs> with walking. the equipment. Yeah, <laughs> being safe. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, walking. You know, with the microphone and the camera. It was just very enjoyable. And um, other programs that I like is Smart Girls. We talk about like womanhood and how we're stepping into that stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah, I, I absolutely like love that. And so um, with that, I see you're both in Smart Girls, which is something that sticks out to me. Kind of, can you guys describe what that program is? Um, so it's basically, we're learning about um, all, the, all the things that women go through, and it's like something to be proud of because we're women, you know. We're 
Yeah. <laughs> right. So, you know, we're women, so we're learning about that and with different teachers or different people. Yeah. Yeah. To Oli, I know you're a step closer towards kind of the mindset of what the heck am I going to do with my life? Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. You got this, okay? It's going to be fine. Uh, but I know you've developed a strong passion for mental health. You kind of want to go into child psychology. Tell me kind of why you wanted to go, why do you want to go in that direction? Um, my past is like what made me want to go into that. So like usually when people say something traumatized them or whatever, they kind of use that as a, as a bad thing or a negative thing. But for me, I want to use it in a positive light. So knowing everything I've seen when I was a child, I want to use that to like show other children they're not alone and everything. Like that. I love mm -hmm. that. I love that. And you can do it. <laughs> Clearly everyone in your community thinks so. Um, and Talia, you're going to be in this seat in like 15 years if you want, <laughs> if you really wanted to. Um, tell me, when you got this award and when you got recognized in this way, you know, how are you going to take this and hopefully have it move you uh, into your next steps? Because you want to go, um, you want to go to, let me look at my notes, you want to end up to go to Harvard. Yes. You can do it. <laughs> does this recognition make you feel like you can go in that direction? Yes, definitely. It definitely does make me feel like that because, like, it's just more adding up to what I want to do is put like a step, step, step. So I'm just like, it's just helping me. Yeah, yeah. well, I love With that. With the well, confidence. Yes, well, congratulations. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Jeremy, for oh, of course. for pouring into our beautiful young youth in Definitely. our community. 